This is an exclusive excerpt from the Stuff File program with Peter Anthony Holder. Neil Gibson, the founder and editor-in-chief of T-Pub, is back. T-Pub is a British comic book publisher, and one of their latest projects is called Trapped. Neil joins us via Zoom from the UK. Hi, Neil. Hi, how are you doing? Just tickety-boo. Thank you very much for doing this again. I uh, really appreciate it. Now, I understand that Trapped is based on a poker commentator? Yes, it's um, a guy called George Stapleton. It's based on his true life experiences in the world of poker. And it, it's such an interesting world, the world of poker, how it really is. What annoys him is that in films and TV shows, it's always portrayed incorrectly. It's not how people who play poker get annoyed that it's not authentic. The only film they've ever seen that's authentic is Rounders. So he wanted this to be the next Rounders. You know, there are a lot of poker television shows on where coverage of the events are, are taking place. I happen to be one of the people who, who watch them. Are you saying that movies and films about poker are not real or even those shows are not real? Oh, no, those shows are real, but in movies and TV shows, uh, like of the fictional versions, uh, there's actually, while we were writing it, he actually went on a rant because I don't really like James Bond, but I, I really liked Casino Royale. And he hated the poker scene there. And I, wonder, I asked why, which I, I, maybe I shouldn't have done, because he went on a rant about all the things that were wrong with it. And I thought this was so funny. I said, no, this is going in the story. And because there's things that I don't play poker, so I didn't notice the mistakes, but people who play poker found it inconceivable that this, you know, $100 million film couldn't get basic bits of poker right. So he wants to make make sure that this was very authentic and, and honored uh, the, the sport of poker. Okay, so he's an evangelist about the idea of how poker is, uh, is displayed and portrayed, but was it a, a, a tough sell on his part for you to do this, or were you on board right away? I was on board right, right away. I mean, we just, we met. I, I, I can't even remember how it started, but uh, we met and he... he I think we wanted to get a story about poker and he pitched a few ideas to us and then he just started mentioning stuff about his, just talking about his life experiences. And I thought that's more interesting than any of the other ideas and that's what evolved into basing the story off his life experiences in the world of poker. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say about that. Now, I understand you started a, a Kickstarter page for Trapped. Tell us about that. Well, we did. It's, it's just finished today, actually. It was, it was successful, I think, in the first 24 hours. Wow. And the, the the result of it is actually interesting. I've never had such a response from people um, in terms of people trying to adapt it and turn into an animation. So German TV production companies have reached out to us. We've had um, uh, someone trying to rep it to sell it in the US and the UK. Someone else on the basis of, of uh, the Kickstarter has reached out to me to make a, a comic with him about one of his titles. Uh, it's it's been It's gotten quite a strong reaction which I wasn't expecting. Well, you have been very successful with T-Pub over the years, and I'm just wondering, as time goes on, like, for instance, you just described how you were surprised by this. Are, are you still surprised in some cases by uh, the success that you might have with some with with what a particular project? I guess. I mean, well, for, first of all, it's no longer T-Pub, actually. We've got um, some investors who, keep, who, who wanted to come on board. And they wanted to rename it. So the company is now uh, Neil Gibson's Twisted Comics. So no, no longer T-Pub. Um, but uh, what, what surprises me is which stories resonate with people. And I think Dolly Parton said it best that no writer knows what songs are going to be a hit. If they did, they'd all be millionaires. And I write, my biggest title is Twisted Comics Anthology. And some stories, which I think are the strongest, people don't resonate with that with. Other ones I think are just fillers people really like. And everyone likes different things. So the thing that surprised me most is just how you can never know what people are going to like. Now, do you have uh, videos that you send out? I'm, I'm on your newsletter, so I see the, your videos. Uh, a couple of things have concerned me, <laughs> and that is um, <laughs> your daughter's school project. Explain that. Uh, I'm I'm not sure I know. Oh, do you mean the the drawing of um yes me and be okay. okay. <laughs> that was my five year old son. He came up to me with a, a big smile on his face and said, uh, "Dad, I made you a present." And so, oh great! I looked at this drawing, and there's all these stick men in this image, except for one that has, has a big shocked look on his face, and then a smaller little stick man next to it. So I asked, what is this? And he goes, the scared man is you, that's me, and this is my army, we're going to kill you. 
And I, I, I just thought, what did I do to deserve that? <laughs> But but my daughter as well. So I mean, my biggest title is called Twisted Dark. I'm known for like my dark thrillers, and she came home with a report from school, and they said, "Oh, she, her creative writing is really good." By the way, she comes up with all these dark, twisted storylines. That I just felt very proud. Oh, well, I was about to say you must be very proud about that. <laughs> yeah, um, when she was younger as well. I, I don't know. Yeah, she had to learn how to write sentences and, and use certain words like uh, threaten. Um, so uh, I would, and she wouldn't know how to do it. So I'd say, for example, well, you could say the teacher um, threatened to give me more homework, so I threatened their life. And she, <laughs> <laughs> so the, the report cards would come back with exclamation marks, going, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Let's okay. Let's get back to uh, to trapped. Uh, now that you've finished. With the Kickstarter campaign, what's the next situation? And and more importantly, how can people get their hands on Trapped? And when? Um, well, actually, I think they can still buy it through the Kickstarter or through Backerkit. If not through our website, which is uh, twistedcomics.co.uk. It'll be in bookstops, bookstores for probably about eight months. Um, but say, I think uh, through our website would be the best way or, or through Backerkit. But... It's uh, in terms of the next steps. Just before this interview call with you, I was speaking to uh, my manager in LA and some other people, and they want me to write a screenplay version of it. So that's what's happening next. I have to do that, and we have people who've already lined up to want to actually invest in the film. They haven't even seen the screenplay yet, which is that's never happened to me before. So uh, it's an exciting time. Well, that was my next question, and that is, uh, for the screen, either the small screen or the big screen, would this be a situation in your mind where it would be animated or it would be full-life film? Oh, definitely live action. I, I asked them, do they want this to be uh, a series or a film? Because Joe, he has so many more stories of things that happened to his life, but I, I had to narrow it down for the comic book, and so we could expand it, but they said initially do it as a film if it gets traction we can always revisit it and expand it later so that's what i'll be doing but definitely live action there because it, it can be filmed quite cheaply because it's based in on in the real world i have some other stories which are quite fantastical and in comics and animation it costs just as much to draw two people in a cafe as it does to draw a spaceship attacking another spaceship you can't do that for film it's a bit more expensive but for animation it's the same price because this is set in the real world, it can be filmed quite cheaply, and I think it has to be live action. Now that you've worked on this series, on this the, this comic called Trapped, uh, are you more into poker than you were before, or not? I appreciate it more, but it's. I've been invited to casinos with Joe, and it's it's interesting to see how people talk, the language they use, uh, but it's I don't know. I like it a bit to tennis that the more you play and the better you get, the more you enjoy it and the more there is to the game. So Joe did a home game for me at my house and we had people around we were playing. And I know I know how to play poker, but when Joe's explains what's actually going on, the options with the cards and what people's tactics could be, it's so much more interesting because you actually get a real understanding. I guess this is why people watch poker with him commentating because he explains things that a lot of people amateurs certainly miss um so i do appreciate the game more but as soon as the game was over i've probably forgotten everything i learned to be honest well as as a as a poker amateur i'm just curious to know what was the biggest surprise or takeaway in doing trapped and in in being involved with with joe what was your biggest aha moment if any well that's a great question um, wow. I, I, I think it's what, it, okay. At, it, it, I think the, the big, I was actually on the back of the, of me making that, that trapped. I actually got, um, uh, hired by this other company to make some highlights of great poker moments in history and just seeing the reaction of people and learning more about, the game at a high level. Uh, there was, and also there's there's one bit that really stuck out for me. This woman, she won the European Championship for the f for the second time, the first person to do it, and she was explaining that it's easier to win a world championship at poker than it is to consistently win home games in London, where the buy-in is just ten 
pounds because people don't play properly at home because the stakes are too low. When the stakes are much higher, people play seriously and they and it's, it's, it changes the dynamic completely, which is why if you just play with chips, it doesn't make, make a difference. It's not real poker. You play with a bit of money, it changes the game completely. When you play with a lot of money, now it gets interesting. Hmm. And and interesting is one of the words I would use to describe trapped, which now is available, as you say, for some people who on the Kickstarter. Uh, if for more information, people can go to the website. Correct? Yeah, uh, twistedcomics.co.uk. Um, they can read free samples of all my comics there, um, because my mission is to get more people reading and creating comics because I just love the medium. Um, and so yeah, head over there and read some free stuff if you like. And trapped will be up there for soon, soon for sale. Excellent. Neil, thank you very much for being on the program with us once again. Always a pleasure to have you on. Likewise. Thank you for having me. Neil Gibson, founder and editor-in-chief of Neil Gibson's Twisted Comics. And again, my apologies for calling it by the old company name. You can visit our website at thestuffwild.com. Check out the show number for this program, which is show number 0792. And you'll find links to Neil Gibson's Twisted Comics site. You've just heard an exclusive excerpt from the Stuff File program with Peter Anthony Holder. To hear any or all of the full hour-long shows, visit thestufffile.com. Stuff is spelled S-T-U-P-H. That's thestufffile.com. A presentation of Flying Fish Communications.